stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, huh? I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Is Los Santos, a city of celluloid, American melting pot, two parts diluted fantasy, one part. This is a land of dream. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams, mm. hey, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy. One Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Jesus fucking Christ. Requesting backup for a funny and seven and no fear on the air. This is recorded as FIB 18 CP. Proceed with caution. Suspect is a possible 918 sister.
Hey, Lester. I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the top of the hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. So who we got, man? Stretch and Wei Chang are still in play. Hey, the old man is here. He's leaving the Beast Club. I'm gonna do it now. Yo, Sasho! Fighto! I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? Harold Stretch Joseph. Still outstanding. I'm taking care of him. Disrespectful ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. I got a message from your homies, Lamar and Franklin. Who's this peckle? Hey, that's. You ain't your problem, my nigga. My bad. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so he can have some uh, fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Attack is on! Defensive positions! Oh, you bastard! Hey, something! Get back! How much is asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it! I'm the definition of SP! I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet! Take him down! You're gonna die, bitch! Where are you?
You can't hide forever! I'll find you! What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. You didn't see my car? Resourceful guy to impact those crane killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. <laughs> Let me buy a stake and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're dead! Stop right now! My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the truck! People want to kill you. You won't shut up. Why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead.
You don't want the fat man around either. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. Here we are, Slick. In a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.
You've done well for yourself. What? What are, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well, I, I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours, and have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman, and you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I am so sorry. I am... <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What should I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.